and today we will be completing the base tour on the VIP McGroove vanilla server. Voila! So here is my portal room and kind of a purple black kind of dealish uh, motif going on. Kind of like the color scheme. It's quite nice. Um, and I'm so loving, um, you know, what was that, 1-7? One, one uh, when they introduced the uh, bigger portals, just a lot more different um, options that you can do with that. So let's keep on going. So this should be fairly familiar to you guys. If you guys watched my last episode, and if you did not, um, go take a look at it. Um, you might enjoy it. Hopefully so. But today, I just really wanted to finish up the base tour. And specifically, I wanted to give you guys focus a little bit on this storage room. This storage room right here is the center and the main focus, or not the focus, but like this is what I had the inspiration for, and I kind of built my base around it. What I wanted to have is just, you know, tons and tons of automated farms um, that all automatically, um, you know, auto harvest crops or send wool and they all send um, their drops and their goods to my storage room and it automatically gets filtered um, automatically. So, uh, I guess let's go start going through some chests. Um, I was wanting to do item frames all the way across. However, I am a little worrisome that all the item frames may produce lag. So, I opted not to do that. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll try it one day. But uh, let's go ahead. So, this wall right here, this is all of my auto farms. Um, all these chests, with the exception of a couple of those down there, um, I'm like Rompo Pill. Set it and forget it. Don't have to wor really worry about anything. So in this one, what do we have? We have uh, this is hooked up to my mushroom farm, which is not very fast whatsoever. Um, but you know, it's producing mushrooms. And then next we have pumpkins and pumpkins for days and cane, sugar cane. Almost, ooh, I actually should start making some paper with that. Um, more melon. 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 I should probably start making some more. We got seeds. We got wheats. All the wheel wheatens. Um, carrots. Potatoes. How many potatoes we got? Nope. Mmm. Getting on there on potatoes. We got the nether warts. We got the cactus. Man, I got a lot of cactus. Cool. Um, and then this is actually quite a special row right here. And I will get into why this row of chests is kind of special. But this is kind of the catch-all chest. Where if it doesn't get sorted, it goes into this chest. And, um, you know, naturally, the... Um, yeah, I'll get there in a second. I'll get there in a second. So, um, and then we back. We had an issue with the server over the weekend, and uh, the server owner, JTP, uh, got it all squared away for us, and uh, everything's just hunky door now. Um, but, ooh, 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 fancy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so the way I have this, um, all the automation going on with the storage system is I have two separate lines of hoppers that actually uh, feed all of these chests. I have one line that comes from here and it wraps around and goes this way. And then it goes into this middle chest is where it ends. And then I have another line behind here of hoppers that feeds all of these chests. So if you look back over here, we'll see this is where all the slimes go. And all of my arrows from my UFO farm. And we got strings for days, gunpowder, 
tons of gunpowder, tons of bones, tons of flesh. All the flesh. I am so waiting. And gold for apparently for some reason. I'm waiting to. I need to get. I uh, can't wait for the 1.8 so we can get those uh, villagers to actually trade the zombie flesh. Looking forward to that. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. And uh, so those are all the automated farms. And then at the end, I have a couple extra um, columns um, that I could hook up to all my hopper chains. Um, and those are just for growth. And actually, these slimes, I don't have a slime farm yet. But um, that's a future project, and I kind of already have it set up. So um, this thing will hook right into the slimes. But uh, those are just slimes that I've accumulated uh, via punching slimes in the face because they slime me and I don't like them very much but they give me slime balls so I do like them a little bit and but these chests just down here at the side you know I'm just ran your, your random um, bits and bobs and armor and tools and so on and so forth and yada 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 and pearls and blah 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 and apparently my buddy uh, <laughs> Epic had all his player data um, erased and I wonder if his uh, ender chest is good. Let's see what he says with that. Because I'm kind of worried that if he had anything as an ender chest and he lost... Alright, cool, cool, great, great. All right, cool. Anyways, I got a little distracted. Um, and then over here, these are, um, I guess I could set these up as, um, you know, some automated, automated stuff, but this is mostly like uh, just your your various build blocks. So I have, uh, you know, leaves and saplings and uh, my woods, my glass and, and sands and sandstone, so on and so forth. And various blocks and block types and you know nothing too fancy and then the same deal over here let's just go through all the chests my clays and more clays there's a mesa biome not too far from here and that's where I get most of my clay from and you know redstone and doodad chest and dyes and meats and, and all the good things and <laughs> epic is pretty awesome and uh, and then I have this bottom line right here, and this is hooked up to a separate um, hopper chain f that's hooked up to the wheat farm. And this is so subtle, and I'm sure you guys could already see it, but underneath I just placed the color wool block of which color it is, and ta-da! Um, pretty simple, straightforward, but very kind of inconspicuous. And I just like it a lot. And then I have these little drop shafts in case... I get some stuff that I don't necessarily want. I could just throw that <laughs> down um, the little drop shafts, and they'll go sit with all the chickens. And this is my makeshift chicken farm down here. And mm, I'll fix that one day, but mm, they're fine right now. So we'll leave those guys be. But um, let's go ahead and um, take you behind the scenes of how all of this works. So. Just hop on back over here. Any creepers or anything? Good, I think we're alright. So, let's see what is going to be the best way to show you guys. Hmm. Alright. We'll start from the top. So, here is a line of minecarts. And these different lines go to my various farms. So, uh,. The one that I'm standing on right now goes to my crops and such farm over there. And then uh, that line goes up. Well, you can't even really see them. Um, let's go over here. Goes up to my mushroom and cactus farm up over there. It's just a basic um, run of the mill. Ooh, I don't like you. You did, and you are dead. Goodbye. Um, nothing really special. It's just your standard, um, standard farm. 
uh, mushroom farm and the standard cactus farm. Um, and then we have another line. Well, I'm missing a line. Oh, and then this line over there is hooked up to the sugar cane and melon pumpkin farm. And what these do, so, you know, like I described in the last video, everything's hooked up to a daylight sensor. And at various times of the day, they'll come over here and they'll drop over all their goodies. And they'll filter down into these the chest that dumps into the hoppers that goes into this insane hopper chain and then this feeds all the way around and then I have the same thing for a second hopper line that comes up over here and this is my mob farm uh, the UFO that's what this line's hooked up to and then I have this line goes to the gold farm and these little deposit stations whoop, they are all hooked up to this line and this is your standard um, you know tried and true um, item sorter and take a look at it pretty simple and like I said, you know, I, mean, I got my filters on all of these. And so everything. Ooh, that's no good. I will have to fix that. I don't even know what was in there. What was in there? Um, man, I don't know what that is. We'll have to. I bet that was zombie flesh. That's what that was. That was zombie flesh. Mm. All right, that'll work for right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, oops, twenty-two items. Is it twenty-two? No, it's nineteen. Nineteen plus three is twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two. Um, items and uh, anything that uh, you know comes in and goes through that first slot will get filtered down but <laughs> before I got distracted what I was trying to get at is that you see that this hopper chain continues all the way through here and it this is the last stop and then I have this hopper chain from all of my other farms that go on down here and then they all feed into that center row of chests that I had, and and that's just a good catch-all for me. So, um, you know, I check it pretty regularly, um, you know, to make sure that there's, you know, that it's not filling up, but it never does. So, that's fine. And then I have the same kind of setup. Dang, <laughs> Epic's going nuts with all the achievements. Um, anyways. And then this is hooked up to my sheep farm, and it comes down here in a uh, you know, pretty same, uh, similar story. It goes down here, and then I have all my different item filters. And it sorts all of the different wools. And again, over here. And then I have a, I guess, uh, a fallout chest that goes over here. And I have like a cool little way to check it out. Whoop. All right. So if I ever want to check that, I just go in there and check that out, and be like, mm, we're good to go, we're clean, and you know, so on and so forth. And it's just pretty awesome. And you know, this is like, I like all the glass, and you know, just lots of depth um, with the storage room. And um, you know, really, really, really proud of this uh, storage room. I think it turned out really well. And um, I really like it. I also have this uh, little minecart right here. This guy, um, you know, when I get uh, extra whatever the such is, you know, mm, I got some extra. Do I have extra gravel? No, yeah, I can put some gravel over there. Um, but you know, if I have extra something, I can uh, just just dump it into that chest, and then I could send this on to my bulk storage area. And I guess I'll show you that right here. It's, uh, you know, the same place 
as a rubber band some that I showed you guys um, it's at, at the bottom of my UFO I'm sorry um, but let's go ahead and uh, run over here mm -hmm. right, almost there almost there almost there almost there almost there Alright, cool. And here is my bulk storage room. Um, this is also the collection area for the UFO farm. And that's actually a little loud. Let's turn that down some. Mm. Alright, that's that's a little better. But here is that uh, that mine cart with all that cobble. And, you know, I don't have this thing all the way full blown out yet. But I've just kind of been adding it as I need it. And I can, you know, dump extra cobble here. Um, I kind of want to build a, like, a pretty nice size smeltery. Um, which I'm currently not smelting anything. I'll take these buckets back to to the base with me when I go down there. Um, but, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. And, if, you know, if I ever wanted to, you know, get some smooth stone or whatever, send something back, I could always send it back. Um, through that minecart. Um, just makes things a little simpler. But yeah, this is the, the mass storage area. And like I said, there's really not terribly too much going on with it. But it's a um, you know, big empty room. I'm sure we can figure something out to do. Alright, so the next thing that I want to show you guys is, I guess, my speed mine. or I think that's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it speed mines. And let's go hop down my elevator. Uh, magical. All right. And if we go down here to the very bottom, this down here is my speed mine. Uh, speed mine. Uh, haste two beacon. Efficiency five. Mine for days and days. But I also found that I have a bit of a slime problem down here. So I've been trying to identify the different slime chunks and that's a slime chunk. And this is also a slime chunk. And there are a couple more that I haven't mapped out. And you guys aren't really sure exactly how to find or map out slime chunks. It's, you know, the method I use is pretty easy. Um, what you do is you pop up your F3, and if you look at the C, uh, C colon, and it'll say, like right now it says zero right here. So, right on the X. So that is a chunk border. And then if you look at the very end of the Z, you will see the C where it says 15. And then you go to the next one, and that's zero. So that's a chunk as well. And if you just place, like, fences or something where the slimes can't jump over, you'll be able to see exactly where they spawn. And then you can do whatever whatever you want with them later. So um, eventually one of my projects is I want to, you know, map out all of the different slime chunks in the area. And if I could find, like, maybe two together or something like that, build an automated slime farm and you know have everything sent up to the storage room but yeah there's um this is where i do all my mining nothing too fancy there's my beacon haste two oops wrong one mm-hmm oh, i thought i had haste two what's up with that there it is all right cool that's weird anyways but yeah Oh, silverfish. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the mine. You know, nothing too fancy. If you haven't tried the um the the speed mining with the haste two beacon and efficiency five, that's the only way to go. Oops, I was too slow. Poor guy. Anyways. So yeah. That's pretty much it. So let me get back up to the top of my base. And um, 
I guess we'll um, call it quits. Um, I do have one little segment that I do want to share with you guys. It was a little prep work I had to do before I started recording my first episode. Good buddy of mine, a lost hillbilly, made a hunter. Well, his skin is Hunter S. Thompson. And uh, he pranked me by building a giant statue of himself right in front of my base. And um, I want to just show a couple little clips of me uh, tearing that thing down and uh, showing it off a little bit. It was a really cool prank. And um, I had it up for quite a long time, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, But with that said, I hope you guys enjoy it. I know I've enjoyed this. And uh, you guys have a great time and a great rest of your day. Oh, Lost, look at you, sir. Look at you. You've been looking upon me, keeping me safe. But I'm afraid it's time to go. And you must go. I think we'll do it as a fun little time lapse thingy doodler. Doodler. Yeah, that's right.